And now, the man who will lead us in our proud struggle for freedom, fresh from his bloody triumph over the pacifists of the Gandhi Nebula, 25 star General Zap Brannigan. Yeah. Oh, God, not Zap Brannigan. You know Zap Brannigan? Let's just say we've crossed paths. Was that before or after you slept with him? She's a beautiful ship, all right. Shapely, seductive. I'm gonna fly her brains out. And now, without further adieu, I christen this ship Titanic. Uh -huh. oh. I heard one time you single-handedly defeated a horde of rampaging somethings in the something-something system. The Killbots? A trifle. It was simply a matter of outsmarting them. Wow, I never would have thought of that. You see, Killbots have a preset kill limit. Knowing their weakness, I sent wave after wave of my own men at them until they reached their limit and shut down. Kiff, show them the medal I won. Captain Brannigan, we really need to talk to you about our mission. Whatever it is, I'm willing to put wave after wave of men at your disposal. Right, men? You s hmm, welcome to my humble chamber, or as I call it, the love nasium. Sham Pagan. Captain, may I have a word with you? No. It's an emergency, sir. Come back when it's a catastrophe. Oh, very well. Questions? Why is this godforsaken planet worth dying for? Don't ask me. You're the one who's going to be dying. Kiff, how many men did we lose? All of them. Well, at least they won't have to mourn each other. Zap, last night was a mistake. A sexy mistake. No, just a regular mistake. For a split second, my common sense was overwhelmed by pity. <laughs> a split second is all it takes. We know can dunk, but good fundamentals. That more fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you're killing me. Oh, God, you're killing me. I'm facing a formidable female adversary, Kiff. Suggestions? I fail to see any problems, sir. You already imprisoned her under Directive B10.81. You mean Brannigan's Law? Right, that law. Which one? Brannigan's Law. Kiff, you're my best and most loyal friend, but you've earned my contempt once again. As my protege, you should know that the only way to deal with a female adversary is to seduce her. Oh. This time we are sure she's a woman, right? Yes. Good. Invite her to my quarters. Oh, and have the boy lay out my formal shorts. The boy, sir? You. You lay out my formal shorts. Like your style. I find it very... erotic. What? Erotic! 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 Computer sentences them to death! <laughs> By Snoo Snoo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> what are you, gay? I'm deep promoting you, soldier. Kiff, what's the most humiliating job there is? Being your assistant. Wrong. Being your assistant. Private Fry, you shall henceforth serve as Kiff's assistant. You know, Zap, someone ought to teach you a lesson. If it's a lesson in love, watch out. I suffer from a very sexy learning disability. What do I call it, Kiff? <sighs> Sex, Lexia. Bender, did you just round up our dates at the bus station? Of course not. Anybody else for Nutley? <laughs> Baby, wait. You didn't show me your surprise. <laughs> that new recruit is phenomenal, sir. Yes, he edged out my old mark by two seconds. And 16 minutes. And 12 hours. I do plan to finish someday, Kiff. Good work, everyone. The mother ship is destroyed. What the hell is that thing? It appears to be the mother ship. Then what did we just blow up? The Hubble Telescope. What makes a man turn neutral? Lust for gold? Power? Or were you just born with a heart full of neutrality? Um, sir, you're supposed to be cutting the ribbon right now. No matter. I'll simply cut it from here with the ship's laser. Sir, I, I don't think that's wise. Kiff, if there's one thing I don't need, it's your I don't think that's wise attitude. <gasps> wow. 
whoopsie daisy. And the winner is Leela. But I didn't even limbo. No matter. I know from personal experience how horizontal you can get. Prepare to change course. Sir, this is a leisure cruise. Our path was set by the travel agency. That's for schoolgirls. Now here's a route with some chest hair. But get it, Squishy. You the one lose her in first place. You done enough. Yeah! This time we get most decorated lawmen in the whole universe. You mean... Oh, no, please, I beg you. Oh, for the love of... I am the man with no name. Zap Brannigan. Look at those pathetic cavemen down there. Loading their silly catapult with... What is that gift? <laughs> ah! I believe it's a saber-toothed cat, sir. Magnify that death spear. Why is it still blurry? That's all the resolution we have. Making it bigger doesn't make it clearer. It does on CSI Miami. The alien mothership is in orbit here. If we can hit that bullseye, the rest of the dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Checkmate. <sighs> now, like all great plans, my strategy is so simple an idiot could have devised it. On my command, all ships will line up and file directly into the alien death cannons, clogging them with wreckage. Well... Wouldn't it make more sense to send the robots in first and... Sir, I volunteer for a suicide mission! Ah, cut it out! You're a brave robot, son. But when I'm in command, every mission's a suicide mission. I'm in command here. Zap Brannigan. Has my fame preceded me, or was I too quick for it? <laughs> Giff! Yes, oh. Yes, Captain? I have made it with a woman. Inform the men. We've met before, have we not? Yes. And on that occasion, did you have sex with someone? May I remind you, you are still under oath. <sighs> yes. Please point out the person in this courtroom you had sex with. <sighs> Woo! And his name is? Zap Brannigan. The very same Zap Brannigan who did not blow up Dupe headquarters. I rest my case. Kiff, follow me up to the observation deck. I've got some musing to do. Oh, jeez. Let me ask you a serious question, Leela. Does the company that made your bra make a girdle as well? I ask because a friend of mine... Just get to work! We fight this battle not for ourselves, but for our children. And our children's children. Which is why I'm forming a children's brigade. Up here in the clouds, our technology makes us invincible. Like the mighty X in tic-tac-toe. And that's why you'll never make Captain Kiff. Hmm. Hello, Zap? Well, well, well. Zap, we're out of fuel. And Virgon 6 is about to implode. We need your help. So, crawling back to the big Z like a bird on its belly. Delicious. Birds don't crawl. They've been known to. I won't stop until your whole planet is as ugly as you perceive me to be! That will take a very long time. <laughs> the key to victory is discipline, and that means a well-made bed. You will practice until you can make your bed in your sleep. You mean while I'm sleeping in it? You won't have time for sleeping, soldier. Not with all the bed-making you'll be doing. Leela, we meet again. But this time, I'm the one criticizing the sausage. Ah, she's built like a steakhouse, but she handles like a bistro. We can't be too careful with these codes. Rumor has it a double agent may be aboard this very ship. I'm watching you. You, Ensign, what's your name? Hugh Mann, sir. Hugh Mann. Now that's a name I can trust. Come to save you. I have a devious plan. Oh, great. Captain Moron has a plan. Why don't you tell it to Wingus and Dingus here? Wingus, Dingus, listen up. <laughs> Don't blame yourself, Kiff. We were doomed from the start. Nothing remains now but for the captain to go down with the ship. Why, that's surprisingly noble of you, sir. No, it's noble of you, Kiff. As of now, you're in command. <clears throat> Congratulations, Captain. <sighs> I'd like to make one final statement. Kiff, come here and hold up the flag. And wave it a little, for God's sakes. My friends, you can take away a man's title and his uniform, but you can never take away his integrity or his honor. Plus, it was mostly Kiff's fault. What? Oh.